Good morning, everyone. Thank you for our, for coming to our first Moxie Monday of 2024. Uh, very exciting to have you guys back, ready to get everybody organized and situated and ready to use Moxie Engaged in order to engage your sphere of influence in 2024. So let's go ahead and jump in. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to type them in the chat box or go ahead and unmute. So first and foremost, we are going to get to Moxie from CB Desk. So log into mycbdesk.com um, or 21 online if you're joining us from our Century 21 family and click on your Moxie Works Square. Once that loads, we're actually gonna go into Engage right here at the top and this will load our dashboard. So it automatically takes you into your dashboard. Now this is kind of like your personal assistant, if you will. It gives you five people every day to stay in touch with. It'll sync to your Google Calendar, help you organize your day. As you're sending out neighborhood news or um, campaigns or anything else from Moxie, it'll track that activity for you and let you know what's going on with, with the system. You can add to-do lists for tasks to keep you on task. Who doesn't like a good check mark once you've completed that task, right? It gives you your sales flow, how many people are marketing, how many people are prospects, how many people are active. And that helps you get to your goal completion. This is also highly customizable. So if you'd rather see your calendar before you start reaching out to people because you need to know how much time you have, you can drop and drag any of these up to the top so that you can see it how you wanna see it. So again, we're in Engage and that's your dashboard. Today, we're gonna to talk about organizing your sphere of influence. A lot of times you have all of these contacts, they sync over from your email, you're getting them um, from online leads from Leads Engine and you're just not sure how to utilize the system to the best benefit of you. So in order to organize it, Moxie actually makes it super simple. So what you wanna do is go to the People tab right here and go to Overview. This will bring you to your overview landing page. It tells you how many people are in your database. It lets you go to your full list, which if you click view full list here, it's the same thing as going to my people here. Always can add people. So maybe you ran into somebody at the supermarket or you had an open house and three people signed in. You can always automate or you can always manually add people. You don't have to wait for it to sync to your email or upload a ginormous list. You can add people individually. This lets you know who was recently viewed. <coughs> Excuse me. So you'll be able to see who you've been engaging with most frequently, most recently. It also always will show you that sales flow because that's how you make transactions, right? You gotta move them through that sales flow from marketing to prospects to active to ultimately pending and then on to close. It will then give you your recommended actions here. So maybe you added somebody two weeks ago, you didn't set them up on neighborhood news, you've not really engaged them. So much like on the dashboard where it shows you who you should reach out to, this right here will help you give you recommended actions. So you can go ahead and subscribe them automatically right to neighborhood news right from the screen. Or maybe it's your dentist or uh, your therapist or your kid's doctor and you don't really wanna put them into those sales flow. You don't really wanna add them to neighborhood news, but you wanna keep them in there because you never know, right? Everybody needs some place to live. They may eventually need to transact. So you can go ahead and skip them if you would like to, or if you want to go ahead and subscribe them, you click on subscribe right here. You can also go to view all of your new people. And again, that takes you right to your people tab here. And then from here, you can go to your categorize wizard which is right there in that up right corner. And this will further let you categorize your sphere of influence to help you stay organized. So again, if it's that dentist, doctor, therapist, you can mark them as a non-client here, leaves them and engage. You can still send them information. You can still, if they're part of a newsletter group, send them that information, but it's letting you know that they're not necessarily a client. But let's be honest, everybody in our sphere of influence could possibly be a client at some point. So it will also let you go ahead and mark that person as client. And then it further lets you either create a marketing plan. You can make them a seller prospect. Maybe they want to list their house or you can make them a buyer prospect. Maybe they reached out. They either want to upgrade or downsize or maybe they want to move to a different school district 
or maybe they just want to move to lakefront. You never know what somebody might want to do. So you can further categorize them here from doing this. And as you can see, it has all the people. So you can quickly go through these, mark them as client, non-client, show me more. It'll load more of your people. And then you can keep going through your entire sphere of influence. Now, if you've not done this step yet, maybe you're newer to Moxie and you just have people in there, but you're not sure what those people are doing, highly recommend digging in. This can be a great activity for when you're on floor. Uh, maybe you grab a glass of wine one evening and you sit through and you go through your sphere of influence. Moxie is going to work better for you as you keep it organized and let Moxie know who your people are. So again, we started in desk, as we always do, hit Moxie Works, went over to Engage. That does launch us into our dashboard. But from here, we first went to People and Overview. This will show us our sales flow. It'll give us some recommended actions. Always will show us our recently viewed. And then will show us our new people. Once you go into People, My People, right over to the right here is where you can get to that categorize wizard. Once you click on that, that's what gives you this landing dashboard and will let you quickly go through and mark as client, non-client, and then further let you pick if it's if you're creating a marketing plan, if you're making them a seller prospect or a buyer prospect. So again, this is a great way to keep organized. It's a great way to continue to let Moxie work for you by helping you stay organized with your sphere of influence. If you've already categorized a client as a client or a non-client, they simply won't show up on this dashboard. This will only be those people that you haven't further de uh, delved into to make them either a client and then further a buyer or seller or a non-client. So anybody that you've already done that for will not show up on this dashboard. So let me check the chat to see if we have any questions. I don't see any at this time. I'll go ahead and wait just a few moments. As always, we record all of our Moxie Mondays. If you head to schmidtvideoclassroom.com, or of course you can always just go to schmidtresources.com, you can get to our playlist from there. Wonderful. Well, I don't see any questions that have come in. Of course, as you get in here, if you go to your people, you start to categorize them and you have questions, don't hesitate to reach out after the fact. I appreciate all your time this morning. Thanks, everyone. Bye now.